Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma and The Real Seat at 707 Union Avenue in Brielle. Gear up for spring trolling with expert wireline installation and a full selection of mojos, plugs, and bunker spoons. Black drums, striped bass, weak fish, and yes, the bluefish have finally arrived as well as we got our first reports over the Easter weekend. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. While a lot of folks were enjoying the Easter weekend on Saturday afternoon, we heard from Surf City Bait and Tackle, they were the first to report that we had those bluefish invading along the beaches, storming the beaches, if you will, just as they did right around the same time as the 2016 schedule, especially in central Jersey. Um, Tuesday, Lance uh, Purcell, he checked back in with Surf City Bait and Tackle. They had blues to 14 pounds, not just out in the front beaches, but finally arrived behind LBI as well. We have them in Delaware, same reports. Over the, uh, over the past weekend, Joe Robertson checked in with a 15.8 pound citation to Lewis Harbor. He was fishing with Alex Neese. They were fishing the beach near the pier down in Delaware. Uh, from the 8th Street Jetty in Avalon, that's the word we have from Avalon Hodgepodge, up through Atlantic City, Great Bay, Barnegat Inlet. Um, Jeff Dixon, he had him up to 14 pounds this week, uh, someplace in central Jersey on the rocks. And again, this moves all the way up along the central Jersey coast. Uh, the folks at Gates, Gates Bait and Tackle in Manasquan, they said the, uh, the, the bluefish finally turned on a little bit after sundown, or right around sundown on Tuesday, there or Sunday, uh, sorry, on Easter Sunday right there at Manasquan Inlet, up farther into Monmouth County and the Raritan Bay, where Phil at the tackle box, he said they were off by a day or two as those bluefish didn't really show until the start of this week. John Davis got on them this past Monday, throwing lures. Now behind the bluefish, of course, we always wait for that. Behind the blues, we've got the weakfish. The weakfish are never too far off. John Mazurik, he was out with uh, Captain Steve Pearl of Real Fantasy Sport Fishing out of Barnegat, uh, April 14th, throwing a tsunami split tail. Now Steve tells me he's in a mix of Grand Slam action even though we don't have those fluke, that fluke opening until sometime in May. No word yet on fluke. We're still trying to track down some additional information, but until you hear otherwise, just go with last year's regulations. That's what I've been told from the DEP, that until you hear otherwise, we're still the same start, the same season. Whether we go to three at 19 inches, we just don't know at this point. Now, striped bass action continues to intensify throughout the range. Big fish uh, are up the Raritan Bay. Uh, finally getting some good reports of some good fish. Art Waldhelm, he was out earlier this week, had a bunch of fish, 15 fish or so released, uh, up to 40, this 40 that he had on board. Uh, thanks for the photo from uh, Guy Buono, always out there getting them done. Front beaches in Central and South Jersey as well. Uh, we continue to see a few new fish showing up. Jack Dobbs finally got things going at Brigantine earlier in the week using a Riptide rotter. Andy Grossman at Riptide is real thrilled to see that, that the uh, some of those stripers are turning on along the front beaches in South Jersey and Central Jersey especially. Of course, Mint Diggity Davis is another guy who checks in with us from the Delaware River periodically, and he says he's continuing to find those big fish moving up the Delaware catch and release on the spawn, including this 44-incher this week. Now, way up the Delaware River, uh, f way far up, we're talking about Regalsville and up towards the uh, uh, the areas up there in Easton, uh, we're finding more on the shad action. I had gotten out with Chris Gatley and Dan Bias earlier this week, uh, fishing shad spoons behind Berkeley Flicker Minnows and Flicker Shads. Uh, Chris is one of the guys who, uh, he's, he's all over this saying, he sets out a, a spread of rods anchored up there on the Delaware, and he likes those those rattling baits. Thinks those rattling the rattling baits like you'll find in those Berkeley Flicker shads and uh, Flicker minnows. They really drive the shad crazy and get them jumping all over the spoons. So this is going to be a real busy weekend uh, along the Delaware. As a matter of fact, the Bi-State Shad Tournament will be keeping things very busy along the Delaware Thursday through Sunday as shad anglers are competing 
for upwards of $10,000. That's the estimated purse for the first prize, biggest shad in that contest. Plus, you could also enter and get your chance to win a $12,000 G3 boat and Yamaha jet motor. Uh, with a load right trailer. That's courtesy of Mayberry Sales and Service in Port Murray, New Jersey. Last I checked on Wednesday, there were well over 600 shad anglers entered into that tournament. You can find all the details if you go to www.shadfishingcontest. But certainly, uh, from what Chris is telling me and what I experienced earlier in the week, the shad fishing and the shad action and the run itself along the Delaware is, is epic so far. We've got the first waves of dinner drum in around Delaware and South Jersey, clam and mussel beds and along the sod banks. That's what I'm going to give a shot at, doing some shucking, some clams this week. Uh, it'll be nice to find some more fresh clams by the bushel in some of the tackle shops along the coast, but we will be stinking up some, uh, some of the waters behind Great Bay this week, seeing if we can't find a couple of those dinner size drum. Uh, around the area. So after a shad row dinner and maybe chunking up some of those uh, row shad as well, just to give a shot at maybe some bluefish as well. Good opportunity to anchor up with some uh, some chunk baits, bunker uh, or the shad, and uh, see if you can entice a couple of those big bluefish in. Even heard of a red drum this week through Betty and Nick's from Stan, uh, Ken, Kevin, Keith, Keith, it was Keith, Stan Hope. Uh, a red drum around the Barnegat Bay. It's one of a, of a couple of red drum we've heard caught so far this year. So obviously we're getting some endless possibilities suddenly opening up throughout the region. Now, don't forget another opportunity for you this weekend is that Lacey Marine Open House. That's going to go on Saturday. Great savings on paints and zincs if you're not in just yet. A lot of fishing tackle too. SNS Bucktails has some special deals as well. And I think that Tony Maja himself will be there offering some special deals on some Tony Maj attack if you want to get into trolling some stripers. So get all the details on that event and all the events throughout the, uh, the throughout the region. It's in this week's edition of the Fisherman Magazine. You subscribers are back on your weekly print schedule and uh, you're going to find out about things first. So check out the Fisherman Magazine this week. Catch them up, my friends, and we will see you again this time next week over at thefisherman.com. Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma and The Real Seat at 707 Union Avenue in Brielle. Gear up for spring trolling with expert wireline installation and a full selection of mojos, plugs, and bunker spoons. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dreamboat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.